Hello guys and welcome back to my channel, Fawal Gan. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, Checkpoint Integrity Portal. So this video is a walk through uh, what is Checkpoint Infinity Portal, I mean what is Checkpoint Infinity, what are the things offered from there. So uh, basically the Checkpoint Infinity is the integration of your all the Checkpoint products or all the Checkpoint products things together in a short we can say. Uh, it is you know uh, one of the uh, uh, very useful and desired feature what we have from the checkpoint that this checkpoint infinity portal when everything is integrated together and you know um, you will do the threat prevention you will do the threat analysis monitoring log analysis uh, uh, real-time uh, cloud smart uh, you know console application uh, on just on click you can create a gateways and many more things a lot of things are available here uh, this is the checkpoint uh, let's just uh, uh, what add-ons uh, we are going to see uh, over the portal so if you don't know how to log into this portal uh, just go to this website portal.checkpoint.com and then you will be appear to the sign in page uh, if you are new uh, you will see something here register here uh, if you click there, it will just ask you a few basic details. Uh, just fill in those details. Then after that, you will be receiving an uh, email from the checkpoint uh, stating that, okay, just uh, give us a go ahead for the confirmation that you have requested the port of access. And then uh, you will be diverted uh, to the login page and you have to log in from here. So I have already registered. That's why I am just logging now. So this is my user email ID. I am just going ahead to log in the portal let me sign in okay so as you can see uh, uh, have directly signing to the uh, quantum smart one cloud uh, this is one of the offerings but if you click this uh, uh, upper top left you will see the actual offering. So you have Infinity Visions where you have a SOC, Security Operational Center configuration, Policy configuration. When you talk about the quantum, it will Smart One Cloud, IoT from memory ports. When you talk about the Cloud Guard, you have a portion, network, workload, identity awareness, and a lot of things. And how many is your all the endpoint connects and mobile application configuration? Uh, if you see at the top also there is three uh, options here to connect directly uh, I am not going to walk you through each and everything but I just wanted to show you like how the thing looks for example if I want to go ahead and uh, do the application security I have to just click that and it will ask you to go ahead and configure that within a click and this is all happening over the cloud and uh, uh, seamlessly you will be you know uh, having all those details in front of you so let's wait for a minute till this application uh, pops up okay taking some time okay so yes, this is how it looks. Uh, welcome to the uh, uh, cloud or IoT in the menu. Here uh, you have to just select uh, what asset, <laughs> how the enforcement will be happen, and rest of the things like monitor and everything. I mean it's just a click if you want to configure anything you just have to say uh, click that requirement and it will take you there you just have to give the basic details and everything and it will you know uh, connect your asset or it will uh, you know go ahead and do the work for you uh, like that you have other options I don't know when I click this network I am getting this error couldn't load the cloud guard so 
this is something with related to your uh, actual uh, uh, checkpoint cloud environment related to the, your Azure or your Amazon or Google or whatever cloud you have. But uh, this is what we are getting. So I think this is something a scope of improvement uh, from the checkpoint like why such errors. Uh, I don't know exactly. Uh, so that is one thing I observe. Uh, then come here, uh, one of the, my favorite uh, application which is Smart One Cloud. Here itself, uh, you have the you know flexibility to connect to your cloud network uh, from this management tool. If you quickly see, you have a open web smart corner application. So if you click here, it will directly take you to the smart application via web smart console. <laughs> so uh, this is one of the cool feature I have seen with the checkpoint. You don't have to install the smart console application uh, from here itself you are going to you know connecting to the smart console application so it's loading i just wanted to show you like uh, this is also they have you know delivered i don't know if it is uh, how the performance is uh, but uh, this is how it's uh, getting connected so the version you can see r81.10 and it automatically fetch my uh, the what we call here a uh, connection token and it loading from itself uh, from the smart console web application. I don't have to worry about the you know installation of the smart console application or installation of the uh, the things but as you can see uh, This is what uh, I just have to allow it. Uh, this is how it looks When you connect directly via the smart console web application so this is the uh, one of the cool feature what they have added here. Uh, let's talk about the rest of the things. So <laughs> this is the uh, entity or the token which you have to copy paste to your uh, uh, on premises or in premises uh, smart console application to connect to the gateway or connect to the smart uh, console application. If you like, you can download it from here. And here, these are the option to create the gateways. I just wanted to show you how you can connect. So this is my on-premises smart console application uh, configure. Uh, if I want to connect this application to the cloud, what I have to do, uh, I'll just show you that. If you remember, I just copy the token, smart console connection token, uh, that what is requirement here. And once uh, this is started, you have to come here and there's something called cloud. You just have to copy paste your token here. And then you have to say infinity login. And then uh, it will direct you to the same page what we were seeing uh, from the online application, this one. So let this happen in the background. Let's see uh, what else we have here. So this is log retention period, uh, which I have uh, just specified when I was config. I have configured this uh, uh, console for my use. Uh, from here itself, you can add the gateways. So, for example, uh, if you see here, I have say right now two gateways. I think my uh, this thing is getting started. So let's let's get it started. I will show you the uh, performance, uh, how it works in uh, all sense from the website uh, 
web application or from the in premises smart console application either way so it's just getting loaded wait for a couple of minutes and in other way also if you are you are uh, you know wanted to connect to your cloud god application or a, uh, smart console application which is hosted on a cloud like amazon or azure you can do the same procedure to connect that if you don't know you can you know have keep these steps in your mind and you can go ahead with that uh, it's loading the data so right now we are connecting to the cloud itself launching the application so here also you will see same thing uh, what we have we are seeing here so it's getting loaded see you can see the same things now what i wanted to do i wanted to add the gateway so i just say connect and from here i just give the gateway name so say gateway 3 and register <laughs> if you see the object is getting created and also if you come down here uh, and you will see sorry automatically the object is getting created If you see here, the object is automatically get created. For example, just clicking here one once, the object is you know just created. Let let me create one more gateway here. So for example, I'll say four, and I say register. Once I do that, if you see here. The automatically the fourth gateway will also create and this IPs are publicly IPs are getting assigned after that the next step is it's saying connect to your gateway when you click to that it will pop up for the uh, some details connect to the command line of the security gateway copy then the following command so once you connect to the security gateway with the command line you have to copy paste the details and uh, from there you will be you know working ahead on this so this is how it's very cool uh, feature what we have from the uh, quantum cloud one uh, security likewise you can you know also you know browse all these features what we have and for now it's free for us to you know uh, browse this product right uh, then you have a lot of things here you have the logs and event Uh, with the logs and event you can utilize the smart view uh, logs uh, you can utilize the smart view events feature for the IPS things and everything within a click <laughs> you will be having all these uh, features and you know the steps for the cloud you don't have to have these things installed into your PC or anything from anywhere you can you know access this stuff uh, we don't have anything configured we won't be able to see anything much here I just wanted to walk you through things now if you come to the settings uh, here you can you know develop your management API you can generate the keys and everything migration is simply you know one click download the migration tool to your security management server and you know you can you know if you click to the download it will download this uh, uh, migration tool to your security management server itself so this is what the steps they are given for the migration uh, tool 
and once that is you know so if you see the tool is you know uh, configure uh, downloaded here uh, use these options and you have to perform the task and then the actual file you have to take it from here so that is one thing then there is CME uh, configuration you can you know do this uh, uh, configuration as per your requirement get your configuration you can add a templates and everything a lot of steps here you know for us and there is something called global setting uh, which you can utilize for your you know the registration part where you can have your you know account ID and everything uh, details so guys uh, if you like this video please uh, uh, press the like button and subscribe my channel and I will see you on my next videos guys have a good day